It's kind of a chick disaster. What did you say? Squish. Yeah. Squish down. I squished. I know. Squish down. What happened? We were going too fast, but and then it squished down faster. But we stopped it up here. Not sure what happened here. This is a brand new tire, less than two weeks old. So we're gonna have to pull it off, see what's wrong with it. We'll hopefully be able to get it, the spare on, take it into the shop. So what is this? Homeschool tire changing class. Yeah. Here's an important one, lug nut key. Okay kids, first step, make sure the car is either on a flat space and or in park and uh, not, not in gear and the e-brake is on. My class vanished. I think we can go on there. You gotta turn it like this. Next, we gotta take off the old wheel. And let's see, I think this is the right size. Let's find out how tight they put these on. Not yeah. too tight. And now I need that lug nut key. Can you get me that lug nut key? I found it for you. You did find it for me, thank you. Again. You can do it with this tool. That tool won't fit. This one? This one here. Oh. This one? Yep. Okay. Get it on there. All right, now turn it. I'm not gonna fall. Oh man, I think I found it, guys. That may not be it. That may not I'm be a full function. What's down in there? What is it? What is in there? What? It's something stuck in. Something stuck in there. A little piece of metal. Maybe they can patch that. That's beyond my powers. No, you don't want to get smashed, it, buddy. You, you are right. Yeah, Dad, you're fixing the wheel. How do you put this on? Use your hands. Just for, it's faster to use your hands until when you need. Here, use your hands. Up oh, now, go up, up, up. Let's do the next one. Okay, here we go. Dad, you're strong. I'm strong? I know. Thank you, buddy. You're you're getting stronger every day. Why can't we drive? The wheel's up. Oh, well, let me show you how to get it down. Alright, can we drive now? Did we get it? Yeah. Bam! Alright, great news. Now I have one kid who knows how to change a tire. And it's a three-year-old. Yes. Now you can help mama, right? If she's on the side of the road and she needs the tire changed. Now, do you think you could do all that without any help? Yeah. Could you do all that? How do I take this off? I'm sure he could. Okay, I'm glad everyone learned how to change tires this morning. Hello. Does anyone want to le tell me their Hello. guess? We set 13 rat traps yesterday. It's an unlucky number for the rats, 13, because I had one other. Oh, yeah. So can anyone guess? How many rats are dead this morning? Two. One. Two. One? Zero. Is your guess? Okay. Zero. If we find one, I'll be happy. Rats are really smart, so a lot of times when you set traps the first day, they actually avoid them until they get used to their location. So sometimes you actually, catch rate can go up in like day two, three, four, um, and you don't catch any the first day. So we'll see, let's go check them. That's my first on my mind. Yeah, don't touch a rat if you find a rat, guys. This one has been set off, but no rat in it. This one has been set off, but no rat in it. No, the chickens weren't up here. This one, oh my goodness, this one has been set off with no rat in it. All right, no rats, but those have not been set off. Has it? That one is still set. That one's still set. 
This one is still set. Um, what is? Wait a second. Are you serious? This one was there, and now it's over here. Uh, let's. Are you serious? Look at this. Is gross. A piece of a rat on a trap. <sighs> Huh. It's not going to get trapped because it's not going to... It might die. That's grotesque. I, I found another one. It went down that hole there. Dad, I found another wheel. There's another little piece of a rat right Where's there, it too. Drag it? it dragged it into this hole, which maybe that's a clue. That's a good place to set one. Let's reset this one. Ah, I've never seen that before. That is gross. Yeah, we'll have to lock Shep up. He was, he was put up overnight. Walk in this door. Uh, Alright, can you tell me what's going on here? A lot of the chicks are dead. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so we're separating them. Ten. Ten dead chicks in here? Yeah. Are they all ones that came in the mail? Yeah. None of the ones you hatched? No. So it's not crazy to have one die, but it's crazy to have, have ten. all of them. Are die. all the ones that arrived in the mail dead? No. Still, that little one's still alive. I got rid of all the ones that I, I mean, I sold all the ones that I hatched, so no, definitely not. But are these, are, these came in the mail and they're alive? The, yes. So how many, about half of the ones that came in the mail died? No, actually more than half. I got 17 in the mail, 10 in So basically, we've got, we've bought chicks mail order many, many times. And we've had only two bad experiences recently this order and then an order we took put in last year grace's chicks she hatched did great and they did great in this brooder they did great on this feed she ordered some chicks though as part of her little business plan more than half of them are dead and they were dying from they looked terrible when they arrived and then they were dying from the moment she like put them in the brooder they just started dying like four of them died within like an hour of arriving i mean we are what? We're 10 minutes from a post office. They got to the post office in a couple days. The window should have been fine for them to survive. I don't know what's wrong. We're going to talk to the hatchery today and just say, like, what in the world are we supposed to do with this? Uh, fortunately, she's actually sold most of her hatch chicks that have done really well, and she made some money on that. So it's not a total loss for her. But this is when you have a small business and, like, a third of your chicks or a half of your chicks die on you. Whew. It'll take us a huge hit, so. Anyway, I don't think it's anything we're doing. It's definitely, it's definitely not the rats. Some of you are gonna say, it's the rats. No, the rats didn't kill them. They were dying literally from the moment they showed up. You know, within 30 minutes of, of picking them up at the post office, they started dying, so. And all the ducks we got the other day are fine, aren't they? Yeah, they're fine. All the ducks are fine. Yeah, Grace thinks it. Grace thinks it was the delay from the moment they left the hatching facility to the moment the post office called us and we grabbed them. We immediately picked them up. She thinks it was too long. It was like three days, but I know they generally can do well with that, but I don't know. You want a hand? Let's see if I can get a couple of these. Right, come. There's a little bird's nest here I'll show you. Watch really, oop, there goes the mama. There it is. Okay. Five eggs. Five eggs, cool. So quick. They're doing what? Yeah. Leave them alone. Can I grab them now? Yeah. Do they get to come down here every day? Uh, mostly. What's that go? No, don't let him go. I'm just trying to aim for them. I have to feed the cow something. Daddy, you almost pulled me over. Sorry. Daddy. I want to check on this broody hen. I think it's been a week now. She's she started and stopped multiple times on multiple clutches, but now it's been about seven days. 
Ma'am, you have more eggs than you can handle there. But you are faithful. But you can't even cover them all. I think what's happening is, is she'll jump off and take a break and other hens are jumping in there and laying. This is kind of funny. These chickens behind me are eating. I just fed them. And these chickens over here are trapped on the other side of one little run of fence. All they have to do is walk around it. It's proven to be a real challenge for them though. All right, I gotta just gather these kids who have run to the wilds so we can run to the tire shop. See if they, what they can do about that tire. Bree is actually picking up our Azure standard order. We do a bulk order with them once a month or once every other month and get a bunch of bulk items. Are your ducks in there? Yeah. Oh, I bet they're warm. So if you want to check them out, check out the link in the description to Azure. Let's get this right. Azure standard. All right, we're outside the garden fence. Look at all those raspberries. And I think the natives are running. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Hey, you guys, what are you doing up here? We are eating Gracie Blanca snacks this time. You're having snacks in yeah. the woods? Yeah. Bob, you're back in here. Sorry for hiding. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hiding for fun is okay. If I really need you, it's not okay to hide. Have you we're chopped any trees down today? And we've already nope. put on those. But we've worked on that one. Oh, nice job. They're chopping down. Trees. These Atlantis trees. One at a time with a hatchet. What did you find? This was the bad side. Wild onions? Mm -mm. Don't actually shoot where you can hit it, you know. Oh, you hit yourself. Huh? Hey, you can have an apple eating contest. Who do you think would win if I was eating these? Gross. <laughs> I could eat ten in a bite. <laughs> All right, he said about 10 minutes. <laughs> and it was, he put air back in it and it was leaking so fast that it had to have been something that Bree picked up. She drove 100 miles yesterday, but she must have picked it up literally on our street or she wouldn't have made it back to the house. Blowing air out that, with, with, the, with the nail still in it. Watch out, big guys. It's just a little nail. It was pushed through actually with the tip out. The head was pushed all the way in. Welcome home. Thank you. You want to see what I got? Did you get anything that's azure? Oh yeah, I have a big azure. Ow. This is all the baby food. What'd you get, girl? Those are really cute. They match. <laughs> they match. I was getting some matchy matches. Rebecca's giving me a whole bunch of boy clothes, but so I thought I would get some matchy matchy things and some girl things. Because after Wilder, I was like, no more kids. <laughs> so I got rid of everything. So I have nothing for the babies. Let me just show you. I found some cute stuff. I was like, how do you match boy and girl twins? Which, I mean, I'm not a super fashionable person. Like, there are some like gender neutral things that can be matchy matchy. Oh, little sunshines. Yeah. And then, um, oh my gosh, look at this. What I found was that sometimes they're the same exact thing in the boy section as in the girl section. Mm -hmm. I wish they had other colors. Like, we could do like purple and yellow, or like, like a, a turquoise green for both of them, you know, but there's Does a lot of pink and blue. More real? Yeah. Hold on, I want to show daddy first. So this, it's like the same outfit. Isn't that cute? We've never gone shopping in both the boys and the girls baby section. Yeah, it's a lot more expensive. <laughs> what, twice as expensive, right? Yeah, but see? That is too cute. We can both be little lions. This is my favorite one that I found. And I liked it so much I got newborn and I got zero to three. I don't buy a lot of newborn clothes because my babies come out so big. And I'm thinking the twins are gonna be good sized twins. 
I just don't know. Maybe smaller than the other baby stuff. They'll be smaller, but they could still be good size. Here, watch out. I want to show this to I hope they're the smallest, but not. I hope they're like small, but not like white. Guys, No, no, they're both oh, elephants. elephants. It's the same print, just in different colors. That's so sweet. You've been needing to go shopping for two babies for My quite heart a while. just needed it really bad. I don't know how to explain why. I'm glad you went. So I went over to Rebecca's right after, showed her everything, and we ooed and awed, and I held Henry, and we just talked about everything. It was so fun. Hey, look, he's up from his nap. Hey, guess what Mama got? Mama got the baby some clothes. You want to see him? Come see him. Yeah. Aww. What do you think? What's on the other one, kid? Will that fit the babies? Yeah. I don't feel like they have to wear pink and blue. Actually, I like other colors better. Yellows and oranges and purples and yellows, but I also kind of want them to be matching. A little, just sometimes. I'm glad you got Not them. Not every day. Really These are like their nice clothes. We'll get a lot of hand-me-downs and thrift store stuff that we'll be for like That's a lot of nice on. clothes, <laughs> There's no place like my home. Oh, home is my happy place. That's then, so sweet. But they match like green yeah, and pink. Yeah, that's really cute. Either a really sweet mama or a crazy mama. And I'm taking these kids to a okay. friend's house. Potluck. Evil. Potluck. Name is evil and evil and I'm bringing store-bought food. Because <laughs> I've been gone all day. In case you think I was just out gallivanting, I was actually picking up our Azur standard order and going to Target to buy baby clothes. You deserved a little gallivant today. It was fun. You need to get some baby clothes. My heart just needed it. You've been talking about it for weeks. I know. It was really, really fun. All right, bye. Have fun bye. at your See thing. Bye, you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. love you. Love you, Daddy. Love you. love you guys. See ya. I'm just gonna do a quick visual check of all the traps. Try not to disturb them too much, but I wanna see if there's any rats we caught today and guess what i know they're active in the day because that's why i know they're here because i've seen them nothing there those two are still set that one is still set i just saw a rat i literally just saw a rat it went right down in there it's so, there it is there it goes Dang, it's a big rat. All right, now you've seen them too. Some of the kids were saying, Dad, we've never seen a rat. Well, guess what? I'm down here more than anyone. And, I, um, and I'm always looking and checking everything out. Ooh, <laughs> yes, 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 we got one. At the same spot that the one rat who dragged the trap across told us to set it. Look at this. That's not the biggest I've seen, but we got one. And I'm gonna just reset that in exactly the same spot. Per the instructions on the package, it says, if you're catching rats, keep setting them in the same spots because it will, um, it'll help overcome that fear of new objects if you just leave them in the same place. Plus, we know there's traffic there because we just killed one. Okay, one down and who knows how many to go, but we're making progress pretty happy with that. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. We will see you in tomorrow's video. And I look forward to this coming Monday, jumping into house projects. We've basically taken the week off, had multiple birthdays. Uh, so see you soon. Mm -hmm.